Coming up in the morning edition, we have an update on the Ocean Key development. A local lodge presents scholarships to Bahamian youth, and we're live in Cat Island. Let's make a visit to the Healing Pond. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the morning edition. We are coming to you live from wonderful Cat Island at the fabulous Rolez Resort. I'm Keisha Latterly. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course, Catherine Gomez and Charles Fisher, as usual, here with us this morning. Guys, are we working hard or hardly working? We are working hard, <laughs> definitely. This is my first time in Cat Island, and I'm so excited to meet the people and visit the historic sites. Same for me. I'm looking forward to the food. <laughs> Yeah, well, we had a lot of that. The hostesses here at Rolaz are uh, just have just been so accommodating and wonderful. We have this beautiful view to get up to every morning, uh, get up to the sunrise right here on the beach at the Rolaz Resort. We're going to uh, give you a close-up view of that coming up later. But first, we're going to start the day off, as they do here in Cat Island, with a word of prayer where they say uh, God lives. We're going to turn it over to Pastor Bradley Russell of the Highway Church of God in New Bite for that. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. In the name of the Father, we thank you for another opportunity, another chance. Now, God, we ask a blood covering upon Cat Island. As IUN take off for this week, we cover our airport, our planes, all the boat, all those who will be traveling. God, we cover our street. We shun from accident. We bind and we block accident. Now, God, we ask a blood covering even upon the broadcasting corporation. God, give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, insight, foresight. Heavenly Father, we ask a special blessing as they move, travel in mercy, as they move in and out throughout this island. And I seal this prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, Pastor Russell. Well, it's shaping up to be a beautiful day here in Cat Island. It's forecast to be sunny with a few isolated showers. It'll get up to about 92 degrees today, 104 on the heat index, so it's going to be a scorcher. It'll get down to about 80 degrees tonight. Now expect flat seas and light winds, which means it's a great day for boating. But let's check now and see what the weather is looking like elsewhere. <laughs> The traffic report is sponsored by Bahamas First. First in insurance, today, tomorrow. Thanks, Kishla. Rise and shine, Bahamas. Today I'm here on the beautiful land of Cat Island, and as you can see behind me, there's not much hustle and bustle, but it's still important to know about yeah. road safety. Today I'm here with Sergeant Stewart, who's going to tell us a bit about road safety. How are you doing today, Sergeant Stewart? Good morning, I'm well, and how are you? Welcome to Cat Island. I am great. Thank you so much. That's great. So tell me a little bit about the traffic flow here on Cat Island. Minimal traffic, very minimal traffic. So uh, maybe any given day you may see about four or five cars, the most. No traffic jam as it is in Providence. But on both days, we have an influx of traffic. We have vehicles coming from Nassau to the island, especially regarding time now that, that's coming up. We're, we're going to have vehicles that's coming from New Providence. We advise motorists to be cautious, drive carefully because it's one road, but there are a lot of curves. And we want to increase the, we want to encourage the motorists to be careful, especially going around the bends. They can end up in the bushes. We don't want any accidents. So what is one of the main reasons why motorists would get into traffic accidents? The main reasons on any island would be texting and driving or drinking and driving. And I know that's a big thing, especially all over the world, drinking and driving. So what is your advice to persons who may deal with this? With drinking and driving, especially, I advise if they have a designated driver along with them. If I go out or a person goes out, always take a designated driver who doesn't drink as much as you do. Whereas you can have that driver drive you safely to your residence or wherever you want to go. Thank you, Sergeant Stewart, for all that good advice. You're most welcome. Back to you, Kishla. 
This weather report is sponsored by Bank of the Bahamas, the bank of solutions. This weather report is sponsored by Bank of the Bahamas, the bank of solutions. Well, topping the news this morning, the World Council of Credit Unions and the Caribbean Confederation of Credit Unions annual conference opened at the Atlantis Resort yesterday. More than 2,300 delegates from about 60 countries are attending the event this year. The worldwide credit union movement comprises about 89,000 credit unions in 117 countries across six continents with 260 million members. Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, officially opened the conference. In other news, although MSC Cruises has invested more than $300 million to turn Ocean Key into a tourist attraction, where it expects some half a million tourists to visit each year, officials say MSC is committed to preserving the marine environment of the former industrial sand extraction site. At a press conference last week, officials shared that as part of its effort to get an understanding of and to preserve the ecosystem and marine life there, a rapid ecological assessment was conducted on water surrounding the key. The assessment was conducted on seven coral reefs and identified 826 corals on 1,700 square feet of ocean floor and 88 different species of fish. Matthew McKinnon with the MSC Foundation says, with the, bah the Bahamas has signed on to the Caribbean challenge to increase marine protected waters from 10% to 20% by 2020, and that MSC wants to help facilitate the effort. Tertiary education is a global we company and a European company. This, uh, this nationality is more than 100 different nationalities uh, that will come into contact with Bohemian, uh, the, the Bohemian waters, Bohemian nature. Um, and uh, we hope to really you know, reach them with this message of uh, it is possible to, to work towards um, not just conserving but also rebounding an ecosystem. Uh, we, we're working with uh, some of the world's leading experts on, on uh, marine ecosystem restoration. Um, we're convinced that it's possible to, to make progress in that area, that it doesn't have to only be a decline. Well, tertiary education can be very expensive for young adults, so in an effort to help a few young persons within the Commonwealth further as further their education, that is, officials of the Ross Kyle Davies Scholarship Fund in partnership with the Royal Eagle Lodge have donated scholarships to qualified students across the country for the past four years. Former Prince Hall Lodge Grand Master Roscoe Davies presented Talis McF McF McFord, sorry, with who will be attending St. Mary's University in Canada with a scholarship on Saturday. To a worthy individual who I am sure this will go a long way in assisting him as he continues in his education and also his uh, societal development. And I am sure that this will go a long way in assisting him in that venture. Well, this is something that we will continue to do, and uh, I am sure that it would be well appreciated. All right, we are here, as you know, in beautiful Cat Island at the Roles Resort. I just love saying that, Roles. It just sounds so good rolling off your tongue, and the atmosphere is even better here. I'm joined by the proprietor, Mr. Roll. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Let me ask you, do you spoil all of your guests like this or just us? <laughs> what, we, what we do in Cat Island and at Roles is one guest at a time. We determine that they will have an exceptional experience. And we, we find that when, once we do that, they want to come back. Mm -hmm. And so we are so happy. And to the audience in Nassau and Bahamas, we welcome you to Cat Island, the home where wellness and culture lives. Thank you, Fisher. Well, tell me a little bit about this. The first thing that strikes me is this beautiful view we can wake up to uh, right here on the beach in Cat Island. What else uh, do you have to offer here? And you serve um, some nice, uh, sweet, uh, complimentary fruits, too. You can't beat this. Well, let me tell you, Cat Island is perhaps second to none in terms of what we offer. Cat Island is unique in the sense that everyone knows that, everyone knows that 
the Bahamas is known for its exceptional beaches. But Cat Island is unique in the sense that it has beaches on either sides of the island. And there's only a few islands has that. And in addition to that, Caribbean Journal has declared that Old Bight Beach and the beach in Greenwood mm -hmm. is one of the best in the Caribbean. Old Bight is the third in the Caribbean 2019. For our, ourselves, TripAdvisor has said that Cat Island produces the best resort that perform excellent in customer service. And Rolex is number two in all the hotels in the Bahamas. All right, that's wonderful. You have international credibility. Tell me this, what's on the breakfast menu this morning? The thing is, we, we serve two sets of breakfasts. Uh. Our Bahamian, for our Bahamian audience, we love to serve things like stewed fish and boiled fish with delicious crumbly uh, Johnny cake. Mm -hmm. It is difficult to outperform us because we're always on the move and we always, and I'm speaking for Cat Island now, mm -hmm. Cat Island is always on the move trying to perfect and to enhance this product. I know we are, we are sometimes a little disturbed when we get a four star out of five yeah. um, and we evaluate wh where we went wrong. Mm -hmm. All the booking platforms that you might want to book from, mm -hmm. Rollers and Cat Island Hotels are in the number two to five percent. I would like to say also to our Bahamian audience, when you think of climbing adventure, mm -hmm. think of coming and looking at the Everest of the Bahamas. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Everyone should be saying, let me achieve this adventure. Let me have this uh, accomplishment under my be belt. And so that when you go up that 206 feet, one of our guests from Texas said, you, you should be saying you need some oxygen. I've 206. <laughs> when you pass 180 feet in, uh -huh. the, in, in Cat Island, you have eliminated just about every island in the Bahamas. So when you go above 181 feet, you are inclusive, exclusive territory of the Bahamas, of Cat Island. And we are so happy when our guest goes to um, Mount Alvernia, Father Jerome, uh, the 12 step of the course. I mean, it's just a wonderful experience. And, and, and untapped, I had a wonderful experience, a little known one, and we're going to talk about my little uh, adventure yesterday here in Cat Island when the morning edition comes right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to the morning edition. Hope you're up and Adam with us here live from Cat Island. Well, Israel has a, the Dead Sea here in Cat Island, there's the Healing Pond. I stopped over to take a visit and a dip yesterday. Let's see what I found out. This rough terrain is the gateway to a scene that is as calming as its secluded centerpiece. You okay? Yeah. Forget the spa. Nestled in this quiet corner of Greenwood Cat Island, the so-called Healing Pond draws residents for a massage from Mother Nature. Yvonne Rolls swears by it. As she submerges into the warm, salt-dent waters, she says all her aches seem to melt away. Divine place to be. When you're tired, when you're feeling out of sorts, or you have aches in your bodies, this is the place to come. I tell you, I have never, ever been in a bath spa like this one. To me, I was diagnosed with lupus in 95, and then hearing about the healing pond, I decided to ask her, I said, okay, can you take me by? So I'm here, I'm dipping myself in some water to find out exactly later on what results I would have. This is what lies on the murky bottom of the pond. It's messy, but effective. Um, what it does, it actually softens the skin. Yes. It appears that it takes off dead cells mm -hmm. off of the skin. Mm -hmm. And it's, all, it's like having a mud bath, yes. so to speak. 
It's no day at the beach here. This pond may seem intimidating, but this may give skeptics some comfort. Well, I am a late bloomer, so I'm learning how to swim. I came here into the healing pool, uh, pond, and I was just floating. Um, I guess the, the salt it, content is so very high, I did absolutely nothing. And so I'm, my body is feeling fine. I can vouch for that. After her natural healing treatment, we asked Mrs. Roll about her stiff knee. This, this the this is, I'm going to lift the bad one and uh -huh. then I'll lift the bad hip. Uh -huh. You get a bad leg and a bad hip. <laughs> All right, well, from the calming to the adventurous. Now, this one isn't for the faint of heart, but that's not our Charles Fisher. And yesterday he took a trip into the Bat Cave. Here in Stevenson is somewhat of a freaky scene to some people the Bat Cave. Outside, crabs take residence. Inside, bats rule the environment. Not scared, but not wanting to go in alone, I called on Chief Counselor Omar Stubbs. This bat cave here in Stevenson is one of our um, historical sites um, where the tourist normally um, comes and they go in and have the experience with the bats flying around. And not only the tourists, but the natives, they will go into the bat cave and they will get the bat dirt that they put them in the bags and they bring them back out and use them for fertilizer around their plant. So the bat cave is um, served as one of the um, great um, historical sites. See, catch crabs. The little small crabs, we will call them um, back then, the little Joe crabs, you know. They good and famous, they, they can eat, but you could um, catch them and then you could use them for baiting up. Like if you want to go fishing in, and that's what you use them for. This cave has many drops, dark inside, but is waiting to be explored. Well, Keisha, we're out of the Bat Cave, but where else in the world? Cat Island is so unique. Two tourist attractions right next to one another. Right here at the Bat Cave, we're going to go a couple yards down the street. That's where we'll find Catherine Gomez at the Heroes Park. Thanks, Fisher. I'm now joined by Mr. Omar Stubbs, who I stole away from Mr. Fisher for just a moment. Can you tell me about Cat Island's park? Um, Cat, Island, he, Cat Island District Heroes Park. Um, it was a bird for, from, from the district council and the administrator, mm -hmm. um, where we put this together. Um, heroes of the sand from Cat Island who were either still alive or pass on. Um, it comes from very far. We came from stage one, um, now stage two, where we have the gazebo and the bathroom. Um, we're going to move it on where we're going to clean more of the property, where we'll have an area for kids, um, the playground, and the basketball court. So why is it so important to honor these significant heroes? Um, it's so important because they would have given so much for the island and contribution to the island. So, so it's very important to honor those heroes. Well, you got two attractions for the price of one. Thanks, Fisher, for pretending you weren't scared of the Bat Cave. And thank you, Mr. Amar Stubbs, for showing us the Heroes Park. I'm Catherine Gomez reporting from Cat Island. All right. Well, Fisher, I know that you were making the rounds here in Cat Island, and you sat on a little, a little um, port side chat. Yeah, we saw these guys. They were just chatting, and I, you know, I just nosy. You know, I know how to adapt <laughs> to the island life, uh -huh. so I was able to find out just how life in Cat Island has been, and for you and I, it's been pretty good so far. And must say, you don't look like a day over. 40 cents you came with an ass That healing pond worked for you. I, I love the healing pond, and I'm definitely going to go back. But let's uh, right. see what we're Charles here having a wrong to. table discussion with these guys from Cat Island. But first of all, I want to know why does everybody look so happy? Well, this is the thing we do, especially every day. on weekend. You know what I mean? And every There's nothing day. else to do, so we just sit and have fun. 
Well, how, how does it feel to be living here in Cal Island? Well, yeah, great. On the water. Great. Well, go, you go ahead. I think we blame it on the water here in Cal Island mm -hmm. because nothing else happens here. You know, there's no jobs. There's no form of, <coughs> there's minimum form of income. You know, it's amazing how we survive here. So how but do you yet survive? we survive because we're born here water. and <coughs> we, we don't need that much, you know. We need a lot of stuff, but because of our, um, the way we were brought up, we know how to survive. What about you? How's Cal Island for you? Well, this is where I'm born, right here, where I'm sitting. And I didn't use to it, you know what I mean? But I, if I have it, well, it's good, and if I don't, it's good. I'm not from here, but my wife is from here. And we build a home here, and we enjoy life. And they come on vacation, because I'm here for two weeks. But I enjoy Cat Island. I love to come here, but there's nothing to do. <laughs> but when people come here, what is what? Like how I said myself, as a Bahamian in the Bahama Island, and what is what? It's nothing happening on this island. When you go places, the only thing to do, drink rum. Drink rum. <laughs> and nothing else to do. A lot of islands are calling for those big motels, those malls, and those things. What are your opinion on that? I want them too. We want them. We want them. But wouldn't so it take away from the island life? Taking it away from the island life is making it better for the island. Mm -hmm. so the when, when you say the island life, you mean the people in the island. Mm -hmm. the life so, the people life. But when you take it with the island life and you get it done, it's better for the island. Mm -hmm. Better wrong. So All right, well, Fisher, I learned a, another little uh, tip from uh, Miss Rolla, the lady of the house here at Rolla's. The sand flies were attacking me a little bit, so she gave me a little splash of baby oil, and I haven't had a uh, bite since then. Those and I uh, got a lot of bite of those watermelon, <laughs> <laughs> and they were sweet. And I'm, I'm going to have some more later. But those people from from Nassau may want to take note of that when they come uh, later on this week for the Cat Island Regatta. Yeah, that's going to be coming up this week. But big news coming out of Puerto Rico with our under-17 boys basketball team. They pulled off a feat yesterday. That has not been done in quite some time. We're going to check in on them. All right, stay with us. You're watching the Morning Edition live from Cat Island. Good morning once again. Welcome here at Rollis. It's all about the Cat Island homecoming and regatta later on this week. Actually, they have four regattas this weekend. Acklands and two over in Exuma, Roeville and Black Point. But yesterday, over in Puerto Rico, the under-17 boys basketball team, they beat Dominican Republic in the bronze medal game, 85 to 83, and they were celebrating in the locker room. It was Dayton Albury leading the way with 28 points, and with that win, the Bahamas qualifies for the 2020 FIBA Americas World Cup. So, um, what did you learn from this tournament? Uh, I learned anything. Uh, I got to work on my jump shot, and we had to get better as a team, the team chemistry. Well, you scored a second. It's the second time you scored over 30 points. How did you do it? Uh, I just had to listen to my coaches and let the game come to me. Making that possible that video out of Puerto Rico yesterday. The under 17 boys have moved on with a 85 83 win over Dominican Republic. Once again, we're here for regardless, so stay tuned. It's Ed Nesto Sports. We'll have you covered. That's going to be it for sports. We're going to show you much more from Cat Island. Day one here in Cat Island, Fisher. Well, you say I've gotten an early start. It's not polite to talk with your mouth full, so I'll just say it for you. <laughs> Thanks this so much sweet. for uh, joining you. us. And of course, uh, those of you who are coming down for the Cat Island Regatta this week, there's no better spot than right here at Roles, right here on the beachfront. So we want you to 
I'll take that into consideration as you make your travel plans. But whatever you do, make it down to Cat Island, one of the prettiest spots here in the Bahamas. We'll be here all week long, starting at 7 a.m. sharp. We invite you to join us for our next adventure. That does it for us in the morning edition. I'm Keisha Adderley. I'm uh, Hungry Charles Fisher. Charles Fisher. Good morning, everyone. (laughs) 